Hey YouTube, you're watching Proof Weight Loss Surgery Works, and I am your Friday vlogger, Leanna. So this week's topic is what are your top 10 weight loss surgery tips for success? So um, I have not listened to any other videos, um, kind of in hopes to have my own, you know, kind of spin on things. So if I double things I just didn't want other people's tips to kind of get into my head and not you know so anyways let's get right into them so if some of the tips are repetitive I'm sorry um, these are just what I feel is very important for um, for success for a weight loss surgery um, I'm eating my breakfast so don't mind me I'm making my video while I'm on lunch multitasking Today's breakfast is okay, Stonyfield Organic Greek Yogurt Peach. It is a hundred and twenty calories, twelve grams of protein, and I have organic granola in there mixed in. So the sugars on this yogurt is kind of high. Not kind of. It is high. This one is 17 grams of sugar. Um, I used to buy the Dannon Light and Fit. And those ones are actually very low in sugar. But um, I have tried to go organic. So I'm okay with the higher sugar count because of the organicness. I have a lot, man, so sure it doesn't bother me. Although, I will tell you, a little fun fact, if you did not know, I want to say there are 18 grams of sugar in a fun size, like, candy bar. So, yeah. Anyways, uh, back to the topic, right? Top 10 weight loss surgery tips for success. These are all in no particular order, just kind of what popped in my head first. Uh, first, I would say the scale. The scale, I may have a love-hate relationship with the scale, but I need that scale. And I am a daily wear. Um, at one point in my journey, if you ever have seen my channel, I, um, went from a weekly weigher to a, um, every other week weigher. And that was because I didn't like what the scale said. And I thought that, um, you know, seeing my weight every two weeks would, uh, you know, help with that number when, um, in all reality was it wasn't. And, um, I need to be a daily waiter, uh, whether I like it or not, I need to be a daily waiter and that's me. Um, you all might have your own opinion, but, um, I want to know where that scale goes day to day. I don't want any surprises three weeks later when the scale's up 15 pounds. Um, I'm not okay with that. That's how I gained all my way back in the past. I started ignoring the scale. So, the scale is very important to me. Um, number two, counting your calories. It is a pain in the ass, but three plus years now, I almost, I pretty much count my calories Monday through Friday. Um, I get a little flex around dinner time, but needless to say, I use my fitness pal and I pretty much input my calories every single day. And, um, you know, except for the weekends, I like to kind of, you know, f just relax on the weekends. So I tend to not necessarily count my calories on the weekends unless I'm trying to lose. But, um, For me, I have to count my calories. Three plus years later, still counting calories. 
and then you need support. Number three is support. Friends, family, um, a support group. You need somebody to be able to vent to. And that's why I started making YouTube videos was as a way to talk about my week, express, you know, my feelings for the week and what I'm going through emotionally. Um, this is, um, a life changing, you know, you're, you're changing your life having weight loss surgery. So <clears throat> you need support, uh, fitness, 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 fitness. I have been steadily, I don't think that's the word, continuously. I have been continuously doing fitness for over three years now. Um, there may be like a week that I don't go or two or when I had surgery, I wasn't able to work out, but I have continuously worked out for three years. Um, that is a huge, huge accomplishment for me. Um, <clears throat> I've had a gym membership for 10 years, um, but I would go for three months and then I want to go for six months. I'd go for three months and I wouldn't go for a year. So, um, the fact that I've stuck with it, it's become a, um, part of life for me is, is huge. So, um, that was number four. Number five goals. You need to set goals for yourself. Uh, small goals, big goals, goals need to be, um, somewhere for the first, I'm three years out and I'm still making goals. I make goals to make things, um, interesting so that I don't necessarily get bored. Uh, you know, uh, I make fitness goals. I make weight goals. I, you know, make food goals, you know, whatever you need to do to keep yourself motivated to keep going, you know, um, all throughout life, you have different events that you go to different things that, you know, are happening, make goals towards that. You know, I have a wedding I'm in next, you know, Saturday and I have, you know, a stay on pace, you know, goal or whatever. So, you know, just always make little games and, and goals, you know, to help you, um, you know, keep things interesting. Uh, number six, uh, not being afraid of change. You know, um, I'm stubborn. I hate change. Um, if my work schedule changes, if I have to do something out of the norm, um, I do not like change. And, you know, having weight loss surgery, you have to learn that change is okay and that change is bound to happen and that things are going to be different and um one would hope it'd be different all for good but you have to also understand that all it comes with the good there's also you know some bad and you know um or things you may not like but either way you have to make that change in order for this to become a lifestyle and, um, you know, in the end to have all the dreams come true that you ultimately, you know, want to have come true, you know, so that was number six. Number seven, learn to love yourself. Um, I thought I was happy. I thought that I loved myself um, until I had weight loss surgery. And then I realized how unhappy I was and how much, you know, I truly did not love myself or like myself because I was so unhappy with everything, you know. Um, and it trickled into my marriage and... You just have to learn to love and accept yourself, you know, because after you have weight loss surgery, you'll become a different person. You will. Um, I hate to say it, but you will change as a person. You will not be the same person you were once before. 
and you know some people will say oh I haven't I haven't changed on the inside you know but honestly at least for me I did change on the inside um, I became more confident I became um, a person that didn't need somebody's approval um, you know so many things inside of me changed and um, I feel like I'm better for it and um, you may not like me but that's okay I love myself you know um, so you can't be afraid to love yourself and if haters are gonna hate let them hate you know okay number eight um, this is about you and it's okay to be selfish. It is. Um, no matter what anybody says, you need to do this for you and get yourself straight before you can really focus on, you know, others. Um, there's a reason why you got the way you got and more than likely it was because you put others ahead of yourself. And, um, you need to reverse those roles for a little bit and focus on you and get yourself situated and, um, it's okay to be selfish for a little bit. Um, I told my husband, give me a year. I need a year and I really need to focus on me and, you know, I need this to be able to be happy and give everybody else um, you know, the best me possible, you know, because right now or right then I wasn't the best me possible. So I needed to be selfish for a little bit to become the best Leanna I could become. Okay. I hope that makes sense. Last one. I'm running out of time here. Um, make sure you are really ready for a weight loss surgery. It will change your life. Um, and I will kind of leave it as that. Um, weight loss surgery will change your life. Um, there's good, there's bad, there's ugly. And um, you have to be ready for it. And it pretty much needs to be an end all, you know, this is the last resort for you. And, um, you know, you have to be ready for that change. Uh, you know, three years ago, I wasn't eating yogurt for breakfast every morning. I wasn't having just regular coffee. I was having pastries. I was having a Starbucks Frappuccino, five, six hundred calories, you know. And I've made life changes. Life changes. Not until I get skinny changes, life changes from having weight loss surgery. So, anyways, um, that's all I got. Hopefully, I can upload this, and I will see you guys next week.